to make sure we have an understanding of what the term XDR is if you're not familiar with it. Now, I want to show you too, Microsoft has a great article about this. Uh, if we do a quick Google or Bing search on Microsoft 365 Extended Detection Response, you can find this article right here. If we go to that, Microsoft kind of breaks this down, and I want to show you some visualization, a couple drawings, and make sure that we uh, have an understanding of what this is. All right. Now, the first thing to understand again is that um, that Microsoft Defender is classified in a, as an XDR. XDR is not. This is not a term that is just Microsoft. There are other products out there that do this but Microsoft 365 Defender is an XDR, okay? So what is, the, what is the concept here? What exactly is this bringing to the table? You know, why do we care about it? The way to think about this, about this type of thing is look at it from the standpoint of holistic. The concept of holistic security involves that you have the sum of, of multiple parts that equal a whole, and in understanding the big picture of security, cybersecurity in your environment is very important. So when you think about the aspect of the fact that we have hardware in our out there that we're working with, that's got to, to have updates and uh, be monitored. It's got logs. We've got uh, devices in our environment that our users are using, client devices, server devices. All of these have operating systems. They need updates. They need to be monitored. And then we also have applications that have to be updated and monitored. All of this stuff has logs. Then you start thinking about cloud. You start looking at virtual machines and these virtual services from things like virtual firewalls and virtual load balancers uh, on top of virtual applications. You get into the Microsoft 365 environment, Office 365, and you know your head starts to explode when you think about, or at least mine does, when you start thinking about how many components we're dealing with, both in the physical realm on premise and then in the digital realm, we start thinking about the cloud service world, things just get crazy. So we have to think about um, how in the world are we going to secure all of the, the services? Well, the first thing to think of is you really need a technology that can get its little tendrils, as I like to say, in every aspect of those components. The hardware, the software, grabbing logs and pulling it together. So we know, you know, SIEM or SIM as some people like to call it, security and event and information management, right? Um, when you think about that, you have a technology that can go out there and just grab all these logs and, and pull them in centrally. But um, those products, not all of them, some of them, but a lot of them don't actually uh, perform actions against things that they detect. They don't run uh, they don't run incident-based actions and all of that um, in your environment. So what XDR does, and of course Microsoft 365 Defender again is an XDR, it is monitoring all of these things. All right, as you can see, it's extended in from hybrid identities, you know, on premise to email to your cloud applications to all your endpoints. Those are your devices, even IOTs involve Internet of Things. Uh, data loss prevention, you have all of this linked together, all right, with the ability to perform detection analysis with the help of threat intelligence, Microsoft's threat intelligence team, which of course is well over 3,000 people in the, in the world that are constantly looking for the latest and greatest threats and then putting those threats in the, in the databases that are out there. Of course, there's the C CVE database out there and the sticks and all these different databases that Microsoft is pulling from that are worldwide. But being able to detect those threats and then provide a response for those threats, um, that is the idea of XDR, okay? If you work for an organization, maybe you're part of a SOC, a security operations center or whatever, this is an invaluable set of tools that's going to uh, let us uh, basically leverage in order to discover the latest and greatest threats that are out there. It's a unified tool for identifying and detecting the various types of threats and then of course taking action 
on those threats that we've got. Let's, let me show you a couple of drawings now. Now, as you can see here, with Microsoft 365 Defender being the XDR in the Microsoft 365 world, we have the ability of linking Defender for Identity, Defender for Office 365, Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Cloud Apps, and of course, just like we're doing uh, here, we can have a little lab where we can evaluate all of this and play around with all this, and we can utilize the techniques that uh, Defender for Identity offers, the uh, Office 365 Defender for Endpoint cloud apps. We can investigate and respond from all of those products, all of those components. All right, and then from there, we can decide where to go. We can act on any issues that we run across involving uh, any of these components where uh, threats have been detected and, uh, and need to be dealt with. The other thing, of course, if we come back over here, here's another kind of way to look at it. Um, with Microsoft 365 Defender, you know, we, have, we can have an incident queue in which different incidents have been discovered and they can be prioritized based on a low, medium, or high based uh, incident reporting system. Uh, our SOC, if we have a security operations center, or it could just be a couple of cybersecurity professionals, uh, or in a smaller environment, it might literally just be one IT person that deals with all of this. Um, but we can provide automated responses to help stop these attacks. We have self-healing capabilities with this as well. Self-healing for uh, compromised devices, user identity as mailboxes. We have cross-product threat hunting. So, you know, when you start thinking about things like Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps and all of that, how it kind of monitors all these various applications at one time, and that's going to link back to Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, uh, which links, of course, to our on-premise devices. So not only is this, you know, monitoring the stuff that's in the cloud, it's also keeping track of the stuff that is, uh, is on-premise. And um, we have threat analytics, too, that kind of helps us get a feel for, you know, which devices or applications or users in general are continuously getting uh, threats. As, you know, in, in all organizations, if you've been in IT a while, you, you always have at least one, private, uh, one problem child, as I like to call them. This is one person that seems to just always be doing, you know, things are getting messed up in their environment, on their computer, and their, their device, or they're, they're getting viruses constantly, they're getting hacked constantly. You know, it's, it's important for us to figure out um, the common denominator here, the who is that problem child, and why is that person or those people, sometimes you got more than one, in most environments you will have more than one, especially if they're bigger, uh, why is that person constantly the one that's getting uh, the, the malware, or getting targeted by hackers or whatever. But this type of thing can help us figure that out. All of these, and this is really the point of XDR, they all are linked together and they share security signals. So all of these, Microsoft Defender for Office 365, Defender for Identity, Defender for Endpoint, Cloud App Security, uh, which actually has been renamed to Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. Be advised that sometimes even though this, this is an updated, this diagram came from an updated page from Microsoft, they don't always update the artwork. But uh, it's called Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps now. And then Azure Identity Protection, this has actually been changed to Intra-Identity uh, intra Protection now. So that name has changed also because Azure AD has been, has been renamed to Intra-ID, right? Um, but anyway, this ties to when you start thinking about, uh, if you look down here, you can see of Exchange Online Protection as well. Exchange Online Protection is something you just get with Exchange Online, but it can work hand in hand with uh, the Defender for Office 365, okay? You have Azure AD or Intra-ID as it's called now, uh, Intra-ID uh, is, is being protected with the help of Microsoft Defender for Identity as well as Identity Protection, Intra-Identity Protection. And then here is uh, Azure AD again, Intra-ID, which links back to our on-premise act, Active Directory. Keep in mind that on-premise Active Directory is actually still called Active Directory. The on-premise version of this did not get renamed. It is still called Active Directory. Okay, so ultimately I hope uh, this video has helped you get a better understanding of just what XDR is, okay, extended detection and response, and how Microsoft Defender is Microsoft's official XDR product.